Hi everybody, I'm Tuan Vo, Product Manager for Nguyen. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to locate an unknown signal somewhere within a wide area. First, we're going to use our new Fieldmaster MS2080A along with our Mobile Interference Hunter software for a drive test. Second, once the signal is found, we're going to zero in on the transmitter with the help of our MA2700A handheld interference hunter. Should be an exciting video. Glad you can join us. Prior to the drive test, we recommend downloading the map of the area of interest. Here we'll first use Google Earth to find the coordinates of the center of our map. Once a pin is placed at the center of the suspected area, take note of the latitude and longitude. Next, open the map puzzle application and enter the latitude and longitude. Then under image settings, the zoom level, pixel height, and width can be adjusted. The map's height and width in kilometers will change accordingly. Make sure the map covers the planned route for the drive and covers as much area as possible. This will ensure the highest probability of finding the suspected interference source within it. Next, select the map source such as Google Maps used in this example. Then select a directory to save the finished map file and begin download. Once the map finishes downloading, scroll up through the messages and note the upper latitude, lower latitude, left longitude, and right longitude. Now we can open Enritsu's Mobile Interference Hunter software to import the map and configure the MS2080A. To import the map, first go to Settings, select Map Source, and click on Open Map Image File. Once the map file is opened, a window will appear to enter the upper latitude, lower latitude, left longitude, and right longitude. Next, we will prepare the vehicle for the drive test by setting up the mag mount antenna and configuring the instrument. Here we can see the MS2080A connected to our laptop through Ethernet. The 2000-1647-R mag mount antenna includes a cable for the instrument's GPS receiver. Next, we'll need to configure the instrument's IP address. When directly connected to the laptop, we will give it a static IP. On the instrument, go to Settings, select Ethernet, and either give it a new IP address or verify an existing IP address. Remember to use the appropriate subnet mask and default gateway. On the instrument, remember to set the correct center frequency, bandwidth, and span to properly display the desired signal. Then in channel power measurement, remember to set the appropriate integration bandwidth. The last step of setting up the instrument is to test its connection to the Mobile Interference Hunter software. Within the application, go to Settings, select Spectrum Analyzer Connection, and enter the IP address of the instrument. Your computer needs to have a static IP with the first three octet being identical and a different last octet. Now you can start data collection and begin the drive test. When enough measurements are recorded, a heat map and crosshair will appear to show the estimated location of the signal. Our drive with Mobile Interference Hunter led us to this antenna tower. To confirm, we used the handheld interference hunter MA2700A with the 2000-2107-R log periodic antenna to sweep in the direction of the suspected signal. The Fieldmaster MS2080A in interference finding mode will display the measured channel power in addition to providing an audible sound when the antenna is pointed in the direction of the source. This concludes our overview on how to use Mobile Inference Hunter with the Fieldmaster MS2080A.